Hey guys, this is Brenda from Gumdrops and Lollipops Tarot bringing Cancer their monthly love read for December 2021. Um, I do have some Christmas music playing in the background, so if um, I don't own the rights to any of the songs, so uh, there's that. But if you don't believe in Christmas or don't celebrate, I'm sorry, just kind of zone it out. Um, I thought it would be a nice little Christmas theme. And as you can tell, I'm in a different location, um, which I am upstairs where it's not so cold. Um, and I have a little less space than I do downstairs, so bear with me, guys. So, Cancer, we're going to do your reading. You're going to do past, present, and future. Um, this is going to be a general reading, so please take what resonates with you and leave the rest. If you feel like this is just really off base, um, feel free to check your moon or your rising. Um, if, uh, you'd like a personal read, there's a link in the description box, um, I guess. No, I don't want to take all those. I just Oh, there's already three there. Um, well, then I guess we'll take those three for your last. Uh, I'm sorry. There's a link in the description box if you'd like to book a personal read. Um, we are going to do, like I said, past, present, and future. And then we're going to get a Destined Love Oracle card, a Hidden Oracle, Hidden Truth Oracle card, Heart Songs of the 90s, and a Selfie Junkie. Oh, sorry. Spirit Junkie. I, keep, I think I'm calling those the wrong name. Um, card to close out the reading. Nice, Cancer. Um, we have the Ace of Pentacles here, which is a new stable start. Um, excuse me. I'm drinking like cherry Coke. I need to stop. Um, so the Ace of Pentacles is a really nice stable start. Um, if you're, it could potentially be a new job. Um, but since this is a love read, I feel like the Pentacles represents stability, right? Like committed, long-term, healthy, balanced, really good new start. Um, so let's see what we have for you in the past. It looks like in the past, Cancer, you have been really busting your butt, working hard on the on your pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles is a card of hard work. You are putting it in. You are putting in the work. You are really focused on getting your finances straightened out. Um, you're showing up really as the Queen of Pentacles, right? So someone who is very stable, who is grounded, who is committed, who is loyal, who is wanting a stable foundation can provide a stable foundation is a great caretaker um and the page of pentacles so perhaps in the past you had some good news coming in i mean regards to love potential it could be um messages good news it could be um you know maybe someone younger than you is kind of working alongside of you um that could be a potential connection um maybe someone a little younger but i really feel like past it's all pentacles there's not a lot of cups not a love a lot of wands no swords it's just all pentacles so i think you've really been really focused on kind of getting your ducks all in order and and getting your pentacles together and looky here so when i say you're showing i didn't even look at these cards yet when i say you're showing up as the queen of pentacles the king of pentacles is in your present so oh, and the ten of pentacles holy smokes I always almost want to swear, but I'm trying really hard not to swear. Um, and the high priestess. So um, so I think when we have the high priestess here, sometimes this means no communication, right? The high priestess kind of keeps to herself. She doesn't speak a lot, but really she's very spiritual and intuitive. So Cancer, perhaps you're very spiritual and you're intuitive and you're kind of really going inward with working on your finances and getting your, like I said, your ducks in order, but spiritually kind of getting yourself ready and prepared for a, a, a love commitment, like you're waiting, you're ready, you're stabilizing yourself, you're showing up as Queen of Pentacles, which is one of the, the best queens to have in a love connection. Well, um, I think you're going to have it all with this King of Pentacles, could be an earth sign, uh, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, um, someone who is strong, someone who is a provider, someone who is loyal, someone who is trustworthy, someone who is responsible. Very stable connection and you being showing up. I mean, you're not an earth sign. You're not the queen of pentacles, but that's what you're showing up in your your past energy. So you being the queen of pentacles and the king of pentacles, that's a, a counterpart, right? Match. And the ten of pentacles is like the happy family card, right? Stable, loving marriage, um, dogs, cats, kids, house, um, long-term, stable, committed relationship. That's amazing. Amazing, Cancer. 
um, in the future, it just continues to get better. So um, we have the Seven of Pentacles, right? Which is a card about perseverance. So you're kind of like um, in diligence. You're like planting these seeds, right? You're finally, you're watching it grow to fruition. You're watching what you've planted, what you've worked your ass off so hard for is starting to come to fruition. And you deserve it, Cancer. You absolutely deserve it. Um, your wishes are coming true. This dark card here, this is an Aquarius card. So this could potentially be Aquarius too that you're with. Your wishes are coming true. Everything that you hope for is coming true. And you're going to have this Four of Wands, which is stability. Um, but the Four of Wands card to me is like a twin flame card. It's like a, a connection beyond no other. This is like everything you want. This twin flame connection. It's stability. It's a marriage. It is It's what you want in love. I'm so excited for you, Cancer. I don't even feel like we need to clarify anything. Um, so let's get a couple of Destined Love Oracle cards. And if you guys are interested in um, who the designers of the cards are or what the names of the decks are, I asterisk them all in the description below so you can check that out. I usually talk about them all, but I'm trying to kind of get away with away from that for um, just time purposes. Cancer. Divine Love Oracles for Cancer, please. Conflict. Relax <clears throat> in action. New perspective on the bottom, yeah. So I think in the past you've had some conflict. I think, honestly, Cancer, your your situation has been extremely conflictual. I think that's why your past energy is all showing up as pentacles because you're like, I'm getting out of this crap because <laughs> there's nothing good right now in the situations I'm in. I need to focus on getting my stuff together. And I think that conflict is from the past. Um, I think relaxation and action is what's coming towards you or what you're doing now. I think you are taking those actions um, to make yourself better, to heal yourself, to work on your pentacles, to, to become stable. And then you're going to be able to kind of relax because you are going to get your wish fulfillment, which I'm so excited for you, kids. I feel like um, some of your reads have been really difficult. All right, we're going to get a Hidden Truth Oracle from All Things Intuitive. This could be a message from your person or to you, to you, or from you to your person. Finding out the truth crushed me. Could have been part of what that conflict was. I replay our conversations over and over. So um, this could be you or them. Um, and then on the bottom of the deck, you were the best thing in my life. So this could be the situation you kind of moved yourself from, or this could be... I mean, I feel like that's probably a past situation. I think something crushed you. And um, you replay a lot of stuff in your head like coulda, shoulda, woulda. Wish I woulda known. Uh, you're moving past that cancer. So drop that and let it let it be, okay? We're going to get a Heart Sounds in the 90s for you. These are song lyrics. Oh, so the song might um, resonate with you specifically. You and your person that you have in your mind. Or you might just need to listen to the lyrics of the song. I can shuffle them. Uh, so here we go. Have I told you lately that I love you by Rod Stewart? Have I told you lately that I love you? Have I told you there's no one else above you? You fill my heart with gladness, take away all my sadness, ease my troubles, that's what you do. For the morning sun in all his glory greets the day with hope and comfort too. You fill my life with laughter and somehow, somehow you make it better. I think that's going to be like, um, either that's a song that resonates with you or that's going to be a song that will be kind of um, reminiscent of what you have coming. Your wish fulfillment. Ooh. Your wish fulfillment in your um, stable situation. Uh, I'm not going to give you all these cards, so hold on. Sorry. I'll give you this one. All is well. Everything is working out for my highest good. Out of this situation, only good things will come. Only good will come. I am safe by Lewis Hay. Yeah, I think, honestly, Cancer, the um, the storms are over. The conflict is over. I think you're going to be moving forward into a phenomenal connection. And I think um, it's going to be everything your heart desires. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed your December 2021 read. Um, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. 
I will be doing the, the weeklies for December too. So I'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I appreciate all your support. Bye-bye.